Hello, what can we do for animals? We can do a lot for animals. But the majority of humanity is doing the worst for animals that they could possibly ever do. Everybody who consumes animals is harming animals. Everybody. You may not do it yourself, and you most likely, or in fact the vast majority of people, would never directly harm an animal, certainly not for their food. Yet every time and every day, those self-same people go to a shop and pay for people other people to harm and kill animals that they will consume they will take home the body parts of animals not even considering them as animals when they do so for the most part there will be a flicker of recognition in many people when they do it but that's all it will ever be is a flicker they've got this they've got a mental wall in their minds that prevents them looking at what has been done to get that animal into that shop we hide it behind thoughts of Oh, this is just life. It's nice. With no thought at all for the individual animal. None whatsoever. And yet, it is the individual animal that is as individual as ourselves. We as humans have brought upon our civilization laws to protect human rights. All correct of course and what should be and what should ha should be. There are no clear and no outright laws for animal rights. Animals cannot speak for themselves and the reason that humans have human rights is because the people who ever get affected by the actions of other humans have a voice where they can speak Mostly, they can speak for themselves and also get the support of other people outside of their own communities as well. Animals do not get any of this support. Animals need humans to take notice of what we are doing to them. This is not down to just us as vegans or, or anybody who actually cares for animals. This must be down to everyone because they cannot speak for themselves and only because of that. And that requires everybody to constantly think about animals and constantly remind themselves that we should not or we do not need to harm those animals. Unintentional harm will happen because of that is a consequence of ourselves existing on this planet. But intentional harm and killing no, we do not need to do it.
and we should not be doing it. And animals should have rights against that intention. It's not giving them rights in the same way as humans because animals do not need the same rights as humans other than the basics, the right to life, the right to not be deliberately killed, the right to not be deliberately harmed. That is all the rights they need. And we, that is all we need to do. That's all we need to do. We only never need to just not harm another animal. It's a simple non-action. It's a simple just think. Think of the other being right there near you. We basically do it whenever we're out in the countryside. For most of us, we would never consider it harming an animal. And we will generally take care to sort of not disturb those animals. So why should we put them in fields or in factory farms and controlling them and harming them and killing them it's just no need you know that the wild can take care of itself none of the animals in farms will you ever see in the wild because the animals on farms are not a natural animal they are the same thing as, say, the pedigree dogs that you may buy or, or acquire. They, those dogs do not exist in the wild. They do not exist outside of human settlement. The same is true and even more so of all the animals that are farmed. They are not natural. They have not been natural for maybe well over a few hundred years. But even more so in the last 100 years and exceptionally so in the last 30 years. And we kill them earlier and earlier than we ever used to kill them as well for food. Because it's more profitable. There is no need for our present situation we just constantly need to think of the animals as another being, something of a being that, like us, wants to live and have the joy of a free life, not controlled by us, not harmed by us, not killed by us.